Welcome everybody, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Okay, so you are thinking about creating the ultimate, most badass, baddest ass mofo, rip roaring bike to go tearing ass through the neighborhood. You gonna get you one of these big ass, long stretch beach cruisers. You're going to be styling it. You know what? You're going to put you a 212cc Predator on it. And you're going to be going 70 miles an hour, right? Good luck with that. That's a bad idea. Okay, why is it a bad idea, Eugene? Well, your frame's going to crack on you. They, they were never designed for, one, going 30 miles an hour or better and they're long and they're stretched and you're putting an incredible amount of stress on a thin walled tubing. Okay, this here is inch and a quarter tubing. I'm sure across the pond there in China they use the metric equivalent or something real close to it here. This is 16 gauge steel. Okay, it's rather thin. This here isn't much thicker than a credit card. Okay, now a 50cc scooter is made out of much thicker steel than you find on a bicycle. You ever think there's a reason for that? It's called safety. It's called lawsuits. There's a reason why none of your major motorcycle manufacturers are taking bicycles and putting motors on them. There's a reason why the major motorcycle manufacturers aren't making kits to put on them. Okay? Safety. Way back in the day, 1901, early back in then, 1890s, when they started putting motors on bicycles and going tearing ass through the neighborhood, well, they started noticing they put these higher torque motors on them and they start going real fast, something happened. Well, what happened? The frames ruptured. They weren't up to snuff, okay? So you got a long stretch beach cruiser and you're wanting to put a 70, 80 pound engine on it and have that thing flexing, okay? Sure, steel will flex, but take into consideration, whoop, hold on, where are we at? You've got things welded together and where things are welded together, there's what's called the heat affected zone and it's slightly weaker there, okay? And you know what, some of you boys, well, let's just say you're a little bit overweight, right? Okay, these things weren't designed for some 250 pound fat ass hauling around on it. They just weren't. Not with this thin damn metal that they build them out of. Please, think of your safety. Well, Eugene, you can gusset it. Yes, you can. And where you gusset it, you're going to be welding into thin steel. Now, I built some uh, board track replicas and I used .120 wall. Now this is one inch. This is one inch .120 wall thickness steel. This is the 16 gauge .063 wall thickness. Okay? So let's see here. here. Here's another one that I've got that I took off of a off of a bike. Now let's hit this on the anvil here. Okay? Put a nice dent in it. Okay? This here is probably going to hurt my wrist. Not putting a dent in it. It's not. Okay? Let's take this bad boy here. Three nice size pops. Flattened it. Let's go to the 1.120 wall thickness. Didn't hardly affect it. Motorcycles are built with this or better. There's a reason why. And that's why you should not put that 212cc engine on a long stretch beach cruiser. I'm going to tell you that putting a two-stroke on a long 
beach cruiser is a bad idea. You've got the vibration, you've got the flex. Um, when I first started getting in this here, and of course I entertained the idea myself too. Looked at one of the McCarty stretch cruisers. Boy, how do they look cool. And someone had put a 212cc Predator on it, and guess what? The frame kept cracking. He kept reinforcing it, kept doing stuff. Finally, he wound up rebuilding the entire frame from scratch. And he, he finally sold it. Got tired of working on it. It was a nightmare, okay? There's a reason why motorcycle manufacturers have engineers on their staff. There's a reason why motorcycles are made out of much heavier tubing than you see on a bicycle. Give up the idea of putting motors on stretch cruisers. Yes, I understand. People put two 12cc Predators, highly modified ones, on the gas bike frames, but I got news for you. Those were engineered and designed with a motor in mind. And I'm going to say that there's been some issues with the, even those uh, aluminum frames, those gas bike frames as they're called, with the, the, the gas frame in, the, in the, uh, the gas tank built into the frame because, hey, we're pushing the limits on this here. Think. Stretch cruiser, motorized, seems like a great idea. In application safety, it's a very bad idea. I want you to be safe. I hope this helps one person. I don't care if I get a bunch of thumbs down, a bunch of flack. If this saves one person from going out and getting killed, I've done my job. I've seen plenty of pictures online of your average bicycle that's been motorized where the frame is just completely given away. Okay? Be safe. Wear a helmet. Don't motorize your stretch beach cruiser. Don't even think of it. Take care.